Hello and welcome to this short information video. We've just launched a tender calling for a fund operator to implement the Active Citizen Fund. The EA grants support for civil society organizations. Is your organization independent of local, regional and national authorities? Do you have solid knowledge of civil society? Could you perhaps be our next fund operator? With this video, we aim to give you a brief introduction to the application process. Funded through the EA Norway grants, the Active Citizen Fund provides support for civil society organizations in Europe. The grants represent funding from Iceland, Liechtenstein and Norway to reduce economic and social disparities in Europe and strengthen bilateral cooperation between donor and beneficiary states. Civil society is vital to any vibrant democracy. This is why the donor countries insisted that a minimum of 10% of the EA grants would be allocated to support civil society. Within the fund, a variety of projects are expected to be supported. These projects would fall under one or more of the following areas of support. Democracy, active citizenship, good governance and transparency. Human rights and equal treatment. Social justice and inclusion of vulnerable groups gender equality and countering gender-based violence, environment and climate change. What do we then expect from you as a fund operator? There are several key tasks and responsibilities that fall under the role. First of all, we expect that you ensure the selection and implementation of projects through open calls for proposals. You may decide to predefine certain activities, for example related to capacity building or any other large-scale strategic area in which you believe the civil society sector would benefit from a project that requires longer implementation and a larger budget than projects usually selected through open calls. You are also responsible for implementing a set of bilateral and regional civil society initiatives. You can read more about these in the terms of reference and the manual for fund operators. Capacity building remains one of the most important features of the Active Citizen Fund. With the aim of developing long-term sustainability, capacity building should be integrated across the program. Capacity building also includes support to organizations preparing and implementing projects, and as the fund operator, you are expected to provide this support where needed. There are also a set of country-specific conditions you should take note of. Firstly, strengthening the capacity and sustainability of the civil society sector. This includes building networks, improving transparency and accountability, and diversifying funding sources. Secondly, improving outreach to underserved geographic areas and target groups and small organizations, which may require specific procedures and support. So who exactly are we looking for? First of all, we are looking for organizations which are legal entities established in the European Economic Area and which are non-governmental and independent of local, regional and national government. As organizations, you will need to form a consortium in order to apply. This is based on lessons learned from past financing periods. You must also be able to show that they are financially sustainable. Then there are three key competencies we are looking for in an applicant someone with knowledge of the civil society sector in your country. We're also looking for an applicant with experience in and a vision for capacity building in the civil society sector. And lastly, we're looking for an applicant with previous experience in regranting funds. In addition to this, the lead bidder must be non-profit making with a non-commercial purpose. If this has caught your interest, take a look at our website, activecitizenfund.org. There you will find the terms of reference, the bid form, and other relevant documents. Make sure you meet the deadline for applications and note that all bids have to be submitted electronically to acfund.ft.int. Should you have any questions, you can send them to us up to 10 business days before the submission deadline. We will publish the questions and the answers on our website. We will also be available for plenary information session in Warsaw on the 5th of March and one-on-one -on -one sessions on the 5th and 6th of March. If you would like to attend, please write to us at the same email address. We hope to hear from you soon.